All right, you're planning a move to Austin, Texas, and you have kids, or you're planning to have kids and you wanna make sure that they get a good education. Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down the top five school districts, not only the school districts, but the neighborhoods surrounding them and what you can expect if you're looking to buy a home in any of these areas to make sure you get a great home and your kids learn a lot. Now, before I jump into this list, I wanna give a little disclaimer because as a real estate agent, we can get into a little bit of trouble when we talk too much about uh, school districts from an opinion standpoint. So I took this list from niche.com. If you say niche, niche.com, and it ranked the top school districts in the Austin area. Now you might find other rankings on another resource, but this is what I'm going to base uh, the points of this video on. So let's jump right into the list. Starting with number five, we'll work our way down. The number five school district uh, ranked by niche.com is Round Rock ISD. Now, if you're not familiar with Texas, the way we talk about school districts, ISD is independent school district. So Round Rock ISD is a school district with around 48,000 students. It's actually uh, ranked number 35 on their list in all of Texas. If you're not familiar with the area, Round Rock is a suburb about 30 minutes north of downtown Austin. It's in an area that is convenient to a lot of the tech. A lot of the companies that are moving here um, are convenient to Round Rock, which has made it a very popular spot over the last several years. So you're looking to land in Round Rock ISD, a couple of my favorite neighborhoods. Forest Creek is one that jumps out right away. Uh, most of the schools are highly ranked in that neighborhood. There's a golf course. It's located just east of I-35 and just north of the 45 toll road. Now, if you move uh, a little bit to the west, another one of my favorite areas is Brushy Creek. Now there's a few different pockets within Brushy Creek, um, but this neighborhood, if you just look it up on a map, you basically take Mopac until it ends. So it's just west of where Mopac is, also north of the 45 toll road. Lots of trails, lots of parks throughout the neighborhood. Um, again, a very established neighborhood, lots of mature trees. One of the reasons why people love this area so much and why I made my top list. And the last neighborhood that I have on my list for uh, where you could end up in Round Rock ISD is Spicewood Estates, which is just west of 183. Got to bump your price point up a little bit to get into this neighborhood, but you drive through here, the oak trees are amazing. Every lot is pretty much filled with oak trees. Uh, a lot of the houses are older and have been remodeled or some are still old and they are a little bit dated if uh, you haven't got one that's been renovated yet, obviously, but some beautiful homes in this area and very hilly as well. So in Round Rock ISD as a whole, if you're wondering what would it cost me to buy a house in this school district, I pulled a list, um, I'm making this video in early 2023. As of right now, there are around 400 single family homes on the market and they range from the mid 200s all the way up to a million. And the median list price, I'm not giving you the sales price because this is what is on active on the market now if you are searching. Median list price for schools in Round Rock ISD, 511,000. All right, moving along to number four, Lake Travis ISD, which is also the number 23 ranked school in Texas. In Lake Travis ISD, there's around 11,000 students. And as you can take a look here, they earned A pluses from niche.com in the areas of academics, sports, college prep, and food, so pretty high rankings. And I can give you a first-hand account that a lot of people that move here that want a school district, good school district, they usually do look at Lake Travis ISD because of its good reputation. Some of my favorite neighborhoods within Lake Travis ISD, Rough Hollow, uh, beautiful homes in this area. There's all sorts, there's different sections of Rough Hollow where you, whether you want a single family home or uh, one of the, like a detached condo, um, beautiful, homes throughout this neighborhood. Another one, the Ridge at Alta Vista. As you're driving out to this neighborhood, right when you turn in, you go through the gates and there's just views, endless views of the hills. Um, going in this area toward Lakeway, to me is one of the most beautiful parts of the Austin area with the views that they have of the lake and the hills. And last, the reserve at Lake Travis. This is a community where there is a combination of detached uh, condos and single family homes, but you are right near the lake on this. It's about as close as you can get to the lake without you know, owning a lakefront home. But here's what you gotta keep in mind. If you are looking to land in Lake Travis ISD, obviously it will come with a price point. As of now, there's around 300 single family homes on the market in Lake Travis ISD ranging from the low 300s all the way up to $8 million. Now those $8 million homes, more likely to be the ones that are lakefront 
or very, very close um, to Lake Travis. However, there's options really in many different budgets to be in Lake Travis ISD. It really just comes down to what you want and where you're looking to be. The median list price for homes in Lake Travis ISD right now, right around 990,000. All right, let's continue the list. Going to number three, Dripping Springs ISD. Dripping Springs has around 8,000 students. It's still fairly small, or I should say a relatively small school district compared to some of the other districts around Austin. We've seen tremendous growth in Dripping Springs, and I think they will continue to add schools as more neighborhoods are built uh, in the area. They rank number 14 in Texas. They earned A pluses in academics, teachers, college prep, and food in those categories. A couple of my favorite neighborhoods in the Dripping Springs School District, Reunion Ranch. One reason I like Reunion Ranch is I'm a sucker for being close to Austin, close to town. Um, and this is about as close of a neighborhood as you can get to being, to get to, to get downtown in Austin, but still be in Dripping Springs ISD. Um, you take 1826, basically to 45, which turns into Mopac, and within around 20-ish minutes, you are downtown. Um, so Reunion Ranch homes are built within the last 10 years. It's a beautiful neighborhood. Uh, Esperanza is another one that comes to mind, which is a little bit deeper into Dripping Springs, but during the pandemic boom got very popular. Toll Brothers was building in there and they're probably one of the most prominent builders in that area. Build beautiful homes, bigger lots. Esperanza is definitely one to check out. And finally, Calatera, which is a master plan community. I remember going out there when they first started building homes several years ago when I started in real estate. Um, now, got clients buying there. Lots of homes have been built there. Again, there's a nice river. They've done a lot to build the community around nature over there. Miles and miles of hike and bike trails. There's a little coffee shop. So Calatera is definitely on my list. Um, right now, there's around 200 single family homes in the Dripping Springs area that range anywhere from the 300,000 range to up to 4 million. If you're spending 4 million in Dripping Springs, it's likely that you're getting something on a lot more acreage, uh, maybe something that's been updated. There's some beautiful homes out in this area. And this almost seems crazy to say, but right now the median list price for homes in Dripping Springs ISD, 891,000. All right, inching closer to the number one spot. First, we gotta hit number two an area that grew, has grown so much and continues to grow so much uh, and will uh, see more growth over the coming years, Leander ISD. It's the number two spot on this list and the number 10 ranked school district in all of Texas. Around 40,000 students in Leander ISD. They earned A plus uh, in the categories of teachers, college prep, and administration. Some of my favorite neighborhoods in Leander ISD. I feel like Treviso has to be on the list. Um, this is a neighborhood out. You take 1431 west of 183, probably about 15, 20 minutes. And as you're driving over the hill, you all of a sudden see like hundreds of houses. Um, Treviso is a neighborhood that still has new construction being built. It's a master plan community, great amenities in terms of of pool, recreational, hike and bike trails. They really thought of everything for this neighborhood. So Treviso's on the list. Crystal Falls, another neighborhood just west of Lakeline Boulevard. There's several sections of Crystal Falls, but also another master plan community, um, not as hilly and, and as far out there as somewhere like Treviso, but lots of amenities in terms of parks, trails, and uh, pool, all that good stuff as well. So as of the time of this video, there are around 600 single family homes on the market in Leander School District, ranging from the low 300s all the way up to seven and a half million. So there's a big spread really depending on where you wanna end up uh, in Leander ISD, but you can really take your pick. Do you want a small three bed, two bath kind of starter home or are you looking for something new build on five plus acres? You can really get all of that uh, throughout uh, Leander ISD. Median list price has definitely jumped over the last few years as it's gained popularity, but as of today, uh, homes listed, median, 545,000. And we finally made it to number one. I invite you to drop a comment. Let me know, again, I don't like to give too many opinions about the school districts. It's a sticky spot for a real estate agent to get into. However, 
We'd love to hear your experiences firsthand. Are you, do you have kids in any of these school districts? Have you looked into any of them? I also strongly encourage you to visit the Texas Education um, Agency's website if you want specific details on schools, test scores, um, school districts, go there as a great source. But we've gotten to the number one spot, the number one school district, not only in Austin, but in all of Texas, Eans ISD. Eans ISD can be found uh, in the Westlake area of Austin. There's around 8,000 students. So it's, again, an another relatively small school district. But when you talk about getting your kids into a good school district, Eans is always one that comes at the top of the list, but comes with a price point as well. We'll get to that in just a second. I'll share a couple of my favorite neighborhoods. Rollingwood, it's gotta be on the list. It's probably one of the um, highest end neighborhoods that's close to downtown as you can get in Austin. So Rollingwood is actually its own city. It's the city of Rollingwood. Um, the homes in here, there's a ton of new construction, but there's also many older homes as well. We're seeing a lot of them when they get to a certain point, um, sellers leave, builders are wiping them clean and putting a new build up. But Rollingwood is just west of Mopac, right off Bee Cave Road. Again, you're less than 10 minutes to get into downtown. Another one at the top of the list, Lost Creek. Lost Creek is accessed off um, 360, which is kind of out just west of the mall and beautiful rolling hills. Lots of houses in Lost Creek have views of the hill country, of the green belt. Uh, it's just another one of those neighborhoods where a lot of character. Older homes, older homes that have been renovated, and then now a lot more new construction. And then last on the list, Davenport Ranch, which I love, I'm a sucker for that view of the Pennybacker Bridge. Um, if you go up to the lookout over it, Davenport Ranch is basically right off 360, right before you get to the Pennybacker Bridge. So um, location's great. It's right near the Austin Country Club, right near Lake Austin as well. Um, so that's why it made the top of the list. So when we talk about price, when we talk about availability, um, on the MLS, there's only around 80 single family homes listed. Keep in mind in this area, a lot of homes are in the price point of being on, um, being either off market or on the Austin luxury network, which does not show up on the MLS. So that 80 might be a little deceiving. However, on the MLS, home prices range anywhere from 765,000 all the way up to 16 million. Those $16 million homes are probably Lake Austin, home front views, uh, whether of the lake or up on a hill, views of downtown. There are some spectacular homes out in this area. Median list price for homes in Eans ISD, 2.3 million. If you're sending your kids there, they got A pluses in academics, teachers, clubs and activities, resources and facilities, college prep, administration and food. So they're pre pretty much checking all the boxes in Eans ISD, which is why it landed the number one spot. I hope this video is helpful. If you are uh, kind of coming into Austin, not knowing anything about school districts, where to go again, I tread lightly on giving my opinions about school districts, but from this list, I hope some of these neighborhoods were helpful to give you a start where to look and notice Austin ISD was not on the list. Um, we'll have to have a conversation about that in a different video about uh, where Austin ISD ranks in all of the Austin schools. Uh, if this video is helpful, give us that thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one.